So let's talk about positive roots first, and let's take a look at the sign changes, okay? Sorry? Plus 4x? No. Okay, is so it will be there? So for positive, okay? So you know that this is a positive sign here. So there's one sign change. Is there a sign change between negative 12 and negative 1? Is there a sign change from minus to a plus? So there's a sign change here. So there could be either two positive roots, okay? And then let's take a look at the negative roots. Or, or yeah, let's take a look at... So it's either two positive or an even number less. So remember, even numbers are 2, 4, 8, 6, so on, okay? So if you take 2 minus 2, how many positive roots would you get? Zero, and then those two roots will turn out to be complex. Okay? And now let's take a look at the number of negative roots. Is there a sign change between a minus 4 and a minus 12? From a minus 12 to a plus 1. There's one sign change, so there's got to be one negative root for sure. Okay? So you remember your total is always got to be 3. Your total is always got to be 3 because it's a third order polynomial. So it's got to be 3. So it's either 2, 1, and 0 or it's going to be 1, 2, and 3. You guys understand what I'm trying to say? Okay? Okay, let me explain this, okay? We are looking at how many positive and negative and complex roots there are in this polynomial. Okay, so Descartes says that take a look at the sign changes of f of x to see how many positive there are. So the f of x is the blue circles. Do you see the blue arcs there? How many of them are there? Two. That's where this number two comes from. That's where this two comes from. It's either two or an even number less than that. So if it's two or an even number less, it would be two minus two. You guys with me? That's where this zero comes from. You guys with me on that? Okay? If you take a look at red, how many loops are there for the red? Just one. So you can guarantee to have one negative root in there. Definitely one, one root. This column here on this side has got, always got to be equal to whatever that number is. Noah, you are in... Uh, what play were you doing, did you say? I forget. What play were you doing? Yeah. Yeah, it looks like you are with Virginia Woolf. Okay. This column's got to be 3. So it's either 2 plus 1 plus 0. That makes 3. Or it's going to be 0 positive, 1 negative, and 2 complex. That makes 3. So if you add these numbers, if you add these numbers here, you get 3. If you add these numbers here, you get 3. You guys with me on that? So let me ask you this question. Supposing if there were 6 loop de loops for the positive 1, what would Descartes say? It's either 6 or an even number less than that, 4 or an even number less than that, or 0. You guys, got, do you understand what it means to say even number less than that? You keep on subtracting until you either get a 0 or a 1. You with me on that? Okay, let's go apply these theorems then. <clears throat> okay, so here's the reason why I told you why you don't want to do synthetic division with one plus or minus 1, okay, to start out. First, you apply this test, and if this test works, then you will do synthetic division, okay? Then you will do synthetic division. Okay. And to say plus 1 is a root, you take f of x and you add all the co coefficients, what do you get? If you add all the coefficients in here, what do you get? 
Sorry? No, it's minus 12x. Because it's minus 1 parenthesis squared. Okay? So if you add all the coefficients on the black one, what do you get? Sorry? Whoa, you guys with me or are you guys kind of off the deep end right now? You get negative 6? Okay, does everybody have a gram on that? Positive 6? Is that equal to 0? So plus 1 is not a root. How about the red one? Zero. Sum of coefficients is 0. Yes? Yeah. So then negative 1 is a root. Okay? Then, after you've done this test, you can do synthetic division. Okay? Otherwise, you'll have wasted your time to do synthetic division. And why do you do synthetic division then? What's the point of doing synthetic division with plus or minus 1? Sorry? Exactly. Good job. Good job. It'll give you the remaining factors. Nice. Good job. You know what? I'm going to skip this guy. Uh, we don't use it a lot, so I'm going to skip this part. Okay, you guys put all the rules together and solve this problem. So you can see the rules, okay? You do P over Q test, then you do Descartes, you do plus or minus one, do syndiv, and give me all the answers. <clears throat> all right, so let me do Descartes here, okay? So you guys want to pay attention. You guys want to pay attention. So remember, Descartes is talking about positive roots and negative roots, okay? So to get the negative roots, what you need to do is you need to make this f of minus x, okay? Then what does 6x cubed become? Negative 6x cubed. Negative 4x squared stays plus 3x minus 2. Minus two. So let's take a look at the positive roots first, okay? Is there a sign change between a plus 6 and a... Remember, there's a plus sign here. Is there a sign change from a plus 6 to a minus 4? Yes. Is there a sign change from a minus 4 to a 3? Yes. Is there a sign change from a 3 to a negative 2? Yes. So if you want to look at your table, so this is what you need to do for Descartes, okay? You need to do plus, minus, complex, and total. In this case, total is going to be whatever that number is. So it's got to be 3. So there are three sign changes on the black one. So it's either 3 or an even number less than 3. So 3 minus 2, 1. Okay? You with me on that? Are there any sign changes on the red stuff? Are there any sign changes on the red stuff? So there are no negative roots. So the only other number you can put in here for complex would be what? Zero. It's got to be zero because all these numbers here in this row have got to add up to three. So this guy's got to be two. With me? Okay, so that's what, so in other words, what it's saying is that when you've got this P over Q, remember you've got this P over Q stuff, don't even think of the negative roots because Descartes tells you there are no negative roots. Don't go waste your time looking for one. You with me on that? Yes. What do you mean, what do you do? It's either three positive or one positive. So if it's three positive, there are no complex roots. There are no negative roots. So you do three and then three minus two. Yeah. Yeah. Question. Yes. Okay, is one a root? If you add up the coefficients, do you get a 1? Do you get a 0? Sorry. For the black one, if you add the coefficients, do you get a 0? No. no. So 1's not a root. Is minus 1 a root if you add all the red ones? So don't even try plus or minus 1. Okay? You're going to try one of the other numbers. So remember, your list here is going to be 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, and 6. Okay? You guys with me on this? Okay, so what number do you want to try for sin div then? You want to start out with one third? That's a, okay, well, you know, he's, he's not fractionally challenged, so he can sweat it out. I'm not going to sweat that one out. 
Do it, Ray. Do it. You got it? Vikram, you got it? What you got? Two over three? Nice. Okay, so yeah, Vikram being Indian is really good at arithmetic. Oh, <laughs> you told him? Seriously, yeah? No, she got it. Oh, she got it before you do? Yeah, good girl. You're good. Okay, so Elam claims it's two over three. So can you guys do this then? So your other factor is six x squared plus three. Wow, that's pretty easy. That's six x squared equals negative three. X squared equals negative a half. And this, you can see, is going to give you complex numbers. Right? Square root of negative a half. Right? So we are not looking for complex roots. We are only looking for real. So there's only one real answer, and the real answer is x equals two thirds, two over three. Okay. So you guys better try this out and make sure that it's uh, two over three. Okay. Make sure you know how to do this. Okay. Is everybody all right on this? Yes. You do synthetic. Synthetic division. Yeah. You, well, you either guess and check, or you be like Elim, where you just feel the numbers. You know, you know, kind of what what it is going to be. 